All right, this next tutorial is to walk you through how to connect your brick to your computer. So you'll notice on your brick, we've talked about, you have the motor ports where you plug in motors on this side, A, B, C, D, and on this side you have numbers, one, two, three, that's where you plug in your sensors. Um, this is where you plug in your charging port. But back on the, on the side, we have a couple ports that we don't use for adding extra storage, don't tend to need those. But over here, you're going to see one called PC for your personal computer. And you plug in your USB mini and USB. So this is the USB mini side. Notice it has a wide end and a skinny end. So make sure it matches the plug. Wide end goes on the top. And you plug that in. From there, you should notice a couple things on your program. Let me just go ahead and flip this back around. Down here, you're going to see that this panel has become activated and it has the name of your brick and that can be changed and shows that it's connected with a USB cable. If I come down here, it will actually show me all the different ports, A, B, C, D, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and if things are plugged into them. So I should be able to tell right away that I have things plugged in correctly. I have a motor in B and a motor in C. And if I look back up on my program, that's what I have right up here as well as a motor in B and C. So sometimes your program's not working, it's because um, you haven't matched that. You've got your motors plugged into different ports than what you're telling your program they're plugged into. So pay attention to that part right there. The next tab down is just another one that tells you your robot and how it's connected to the computer or connected USB. It's also possible to do Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connections there. So let's go back to the main information one. This is what shows up here. This is just telling you the amount of storage you still have on your bricks. So if you have a lot of programs you start putting on there and this blue line starts getting up over half, it's a good idea to look at deleting some of those things off of there. All right over on this side, if you hover over them, you'll notice you get a download button, a download and run button, and then a run selected. So that allows you to choose part of your program and have it run just that part. Most of the time we use the download and button, which when you click the download button, you'll hear your bot make a little bit of noise and that lets you know it's connected. So from there, you should be able to find your program. So you have your four tabs here, the first tab, second tab, third tab, fourth tab, cross. This is the one that's recently played programs. So I have just turned this on, so there are no recently played programs, but I can use the arrow over button. And I see I have my folder called demo programs. That should match what I've named mine up here, right? Demo programs is the project name. Demo motors is my program name. So back to here. There are two other folders. Your brick, I'm trying to make it so you can see this. There we go. Brick program and your brick DL. Those are ones you can't delete or get rid of. But if you click on this one and then select it, you'll notice it opens that program or project and inside of it is your demo motors um, program. I can click on that program and select it and you hear it run the motors for the five rotations that I told it to run that. Okay, so from there, you're able to disconnect your robot uh, once you've downloaded it, and now you can take your robot over to the table and it will still run that program. So watch it. Since I've run that program, if I arrow over, you're gonna see Demo Motors is the program I last ran, and so it's ready to run that program right from here. And there it goes, running the program, okay? So anytime you make changes to your program in here, you need to make sure to download it, plug in your robot and download it again. So there's the instructions on connecting your bot, your brick to your computer, accessing the port view so you can see how things are connected and um, downloading and running your program on your robot.